Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, you said my butt's Is it video? Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited for today's video as you can tell <laughs> okay so today's video I wanted to do like a review of Emma Chamberlain's coffee because she made her own like coffee brand anyone that knows me knows how obsessed I am with coffee and Emma Chamberlain is my favorite youtuber so I thought this would be perfect because she's making she made her own coffee brand called Chamberlain coffee and I just thought it'd be cool if I made a video trying it and reviewing it because why not? That's what we're doing today. She's like obsessed with coffee, so I'm pretty sure that I'm like really trusting that this is going to be good just because she's a coffee connoisseur like me, coffee enthusiast like mm -hmm. me. This is like her packaging. It's very simple and cute but i like it a lot let's just dive into the details of this so this is a steeped coffee bag and i haven't seen anyone do something like this before where they put grounded up coffee into like a tea bag basically she has a video on youtube of how she makes her coffee and i followed it step by step just so I could get the full experience of her coffee recipe that she does. It's a cold brew recipe. So it, she says she puts three bags in 600 milliliters of water, which is 20 ounces of water. And then she lets it sit overnight if you want like the richest and strongest taste. So that's what I did. I measured about 700 milliliters of water and I put two coffee bags in the water. I put it in the fridge at around 8 o'clock and it's around 12 o'clock right now. So it was steeping for a pretty decent amount of time. But in her video, she added like a nut pods creamer, which I found at Target, which I'm very surprised that they even had. She put almond milk in her coffee, but I chose to put oat milk just because I like oat milk a lot. And I've been obsessed with it recently for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's just really good and it tastes amazing. That's what she did in her in her video. So I just was like following it. And usually I like my coffee like a little bit sweet. Like just a tad. I need it like at least 20% sweet. Maybe 15. You can also do hot coffee if you want. But I like cold coffee. Cold coffee. I meant iced coffee. I like my coffee iced way more than hot. Um, but you can do hot as well because it is a tea bag, so like you can do whatever you want. I'm going to like read all of her instructions on Chamberlain coffee and like the steeped coffee bag and what's in the coffee and how it tastes and basically just everything that's on this. Tasting notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. Okay, so I don't really like cherry that much. <laughs> Sorry. It is rich and smooth. It is medium roast. Freshly ground and nitro sealed. By the time that you get it, you should probably just use it like right away. Um, because I think she said from the time you get it till like six months after is when it's good to use. Um, and after that, it's just kind of like stale coffee grounds, I guess. This is made using renewable and compostable materials. So it's really good for the earth. Love that. We love that. I got the five pack. So that was $10. And I didn't have to pay for shipping because at the time that I bought it, it was free shipping. So she didn't charge me for shipping, which is awesome. But I think shipping is only like 3 to $5 or something like that. And like the little packaging, it comes with a sticker that says Chamberlain Coffee. Look how cute this is. I put it on my phone because I thought it was cute. <laughs> Anywho, I would much rather drink Emma Chamberlain's coffee and support her than like going to Starbucks or something because Starbucks their coffee honestly isn't that good but uh, I don't have a Dunkin that's tasty like I feel like the ones in California are kind of like disgusting compared to the ones on the east coast there's a lot of coffee shops in my hometown that are really really good but I would just rather save my money and make my coffee from home but anyways we are going to start this review and let's get into it it smells good. I mean, it smells like coffee. Also, something that is like crazy. These coffee bags smell so incredible. They smell so smooth and just like, like you probably smell it through this. 
No, you can't actually. <laughs> Wanna know why? Because it's nitro sealed. <laughs> the coffee bags smell delicious. I wish they could turn into like a candle. Product idea. It looks yummy, it looks like coffee. Let's just give this a swirl. Okay, wait, wait, what? This is so good. What the hell? This is like... I don't even know. You guys, you need to get on this right now. I don't know what Starbucks and what Dunkin' and what all these other places are doing, but they need to get some tips from Miss Chamberlain herself, so. This shit is fire. I usually order like a latte from the coffee shops that I go to or Starbucks, but I don't need to do that anymore. You wanna know why? Because I have Emma Chamberlain's coffee. Um, You don't have to steep it overnight, but I just did because that's what Emma told me to do. If you're that type of person that gets like the frou-frou from Starbucks or like frappuccinos with a ton of sugar, like you definitely won't like this because this isn't that sugary. Um, You could make it, like you could put a lot of sugar in it if you want and then maybe you would like it, but the coffee is super smooth and very, very rich. So the packaging does not lie. I honestly hate making coffee from home because I f suck at it, first of all. And second of all, um, I feel like coffee grounds are very hard to find, like really tasteful ones. Nothing compares to when you go out and like buy a coffee. But I don't want to always have to buy coffee because that's expensive and it just racks up. I'm really happy that I found this coffee because I won't have to spend money anymore on coffee and that's amazing. I'm so happy I did this video because it was so worth it. You know what would have been cool? If I got like a ton of coffees from different places and like compared the taste of them. I should have done that. But it's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I highly recommend trying Emma Chamberlain's coffee. And that's going to be my go-to coffee from now on where I don't have to spend my coin. Hi. Come here. Come. Got cookies. You can try it. But you like sugary coffee, huh? No, I like coffee. Is it sugary? It's not that sugary, no. But I like it a lot. It's the Corona. That was pretty good. I like it. Not bad. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, but can you taste the coffee? I taste water. And From the ice. It tastes like murky water. Ah. We make our own ice and it's we use tap water for our ice. No, no smoking in here. Melted. Get out. It's old. It's old. Told. Told. <laughs> Brianna doesn't like it, but I do. But that's because Brianna is one of those no, people that likes those frou frou <laughs> from Starbucks. No, I don't drink coffee. I like tea. Drink and she also coffee. can't drink coffee because <laughs> her heart. I'm not even gonna do it. So she funny. goes like this. <laughs> her heart can't handle it. Literally. That's Brizzy. What should you say? Nothing. <laughs> you looked at me like <laughs> switching like so this. Gross. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, that's all for this video. Bye. Peace out.